Hello Drubs, welcome back to the Botana Army, I'm Litz and this is Internet Cafe Simulator. Now it's a game where you basically run a small European, I think, internet cafe and it looks pretty awesome. Now, so let's just go to start and let's see how we get on. So we can choose your support, uh, aim to grow your business with only standard support without a bank loan or we can get more money to start with and have a bank loan. Well, that's just dumb. So we are just going to do this one and we can change the name here. So enter a cafe name. Uh, we'll just call we'll just call it Latanas just because, you know, I always want my naming lights. So let's start. Let's just see how we get on. Now, I don't know much about this game. I don't know a great deal. I did a little bit of just walking around and stuff, but it didn't, didn't make a lot of sense. I never got out of the hotel room, which is where we're going to start. So we're going to start in a hotel room and that's basically the game. We're going to learn together. So stay tuned and let's check it out. Okay, so welcome to Internet Cafe Simulator. This is the hotel room you rented for. You can eat food or sleep here. You can follow the sign on the screen to reach your workplace. Okay, so we've got a workplace I'm guessing is there and I, I don't even want to fathom or guess what that is. So this is a nice little room. Let's go on a little tour first of all. Good, this is, this is my favorite room in the house. It's quite a simple setup. What's in here? Oh, this is my office. Oh, and I've got a guitar. I can't interact with that. Okay. Oh, nice. Nice, nice basic little living room there. A picture of a cat. <laughs> oh, that must be the place where we're going to work. Wow, that looks like a nice area we live in. Oh, we can start with the fridge. Oh, I can eat pizza. Okay, well, I am hungry, so let's just... Got the little hunger bar at the top. Okay, let's go. Let's get off to work. <laughs> I've got a door in my own house that's locked. I can't even get in there. Okay. Oh. Oh, now this is nice. This is a nice bathroom. Can we take a shower or no? Okay. So that, that is pretty much the whole apartment, which is fine. I don't think we're going to spend a great deal of time in here. I don't remember the house number. 233. That's where we live. I don't know if you can change that later on or if we can upgrade that at another time. But okay. So let's see if we can get out of this place. Oh, <laughs> there's literally a wall outside the door. Am I trapped? Oh, here we are. Okay, so this is the hustle and bustle of outside. Oh, okay. This guy looks a little bit shifty. And this guy quite the opposite. And that... Is that... <laughs> is that house? It looks like house. No. Hi, Dr. House. Oh, I mean, he did go off on his bike at the end of house, so maybe, who knows. Oh my god, I mean, just, just look at this place. This is horrific. So we need to tidy all this up. So let's just, this is the new place that we've got then. I mean, look, it, I mean, is that vomit on the floor? It looks like some sort of hobo party's gone off in here at some point. But okay, that's okay. We can just get rid of all this. This is fine. So if we just clean all this up using this magic broom that we just found. Oh my god, seriously, have I got to clean all that up? Oh, okay. So we've got like a wall that's like blocked off here. Can we just brush away the lock? No, okay, the broom's not that magic. So I'm just going to put my broom in there. There you go. <laughs> That's fine, physics. Oh, okay, and the kitchen's blocked off as well. Oh my, look, someone's left a pizza box on my actual chair. Let's put this poster up. Make it look more inviting in here. There we go. That's going to that's gonna bring loads of people in. And let's get that pizza box off my actual chair. In my power office. Okay, there we go. And we'll put this in the, in the broom cupboard. Which is going to be this my broom cupboard there we go all right so what else have we got then so we've got a temperature meter form 25.5 okay so this is to see if the temperature's all right in the cafe we've got a sales gun okay so i guess this means i can sell things oh and then we've got good old rosemary rosie the bat okay we'll put that down here oh so space to start the computer Oh, wow, this is old tech. Okay, we've got Zamazor, which is not even a play on Amazon at all. One, two, three. Can we afford four? Uh, let's go for this one. Okay, so great. So straight away, we're already down to about, what, $1,000? <laughs> so this is the redevelopment. Oh, we can buy extensions to the place. Uh, okay, so do we get any arcade machines? Here they are. So we can put these arcade machines up here. Oh, yeah, this is where the money's going to be. All right, there you go. Now, that is the start of something amazing. Oh, we've got a customer. Hello. Please select one of our arcade machines. Oh, straight for the expensive one. Okay, look at them graphics. I mean, that is some 1080p stuff you got right there. You stand there as long as what you want. Okay, good. Oh, now they're all coming in. Oh, you're leaving already? No, stay. <laughs> Don't let her through. 
This is a two player, I think. Is this a two player? Oh, look at her fingers. Well, this this is a two player. Maybe you want to stay. So if I just line the machines up like this, nobody leaves. Okay, good, good. So $1,300 already. Let's just put Rosemary down there. There you go, Rosemary. Rosemary in time. Oh, they're all lacking this machine. The 99 up. So maybe I should get another one of those. I want to get that 99 up one again. Oh, what's this one though? Oh, the 99 up one's too expensive. Look, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait a little bit, I think. Oh, it looks like the guy from uh, from Sporticus from Lazy Town. Okay, I used to like you. You go on there. Pick a machine. I bet they go for the 99 up one again. But hopefully now these all going on here are going to make us a lot more money. Oh, look, it's going up already. So this is where the new arcade machines will come from. They'll get miraculously dropped from the sky, which is always black in this place. Oh, there it is. I didn't even see it drop. There you go. So we've got two 99 up machines. Maybe it's just that one because it's near the window. Maybe that affects things. But all right, $600. Now the place shuts at nine o'clock and it is now six o'clock. So that's not too bad. Okay, looks. <laughs> this guy looks like he's shocked. I mean, this guy works for the government by the look of it. Whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. God damn it, dude. Look at this. Buy fake reviews for your business. You can't buy more than three comments per day. Okay, that has cost us a little bit, but I think that'll be worth it. Okay, this guy is clearly a pimp. I mean, that is as obvious as you can get. With the purple suit and the red hat. Okay, but the place looks great. I love the fact we've got this bat. I mean, I don't know what we would use it for yet. Let's see if it does anything. <laughs> to the old monobrow guy over there. Look, we've got $2,000 already. So tomorrow, if we just kind of leave it, then we should earn quite a lot more. Unfair attack. You must pay within three days. $579. Oh, that must be because we hit the guy outside. Damn it. I can't really... Oh, after 9 o'clock, no new customers arrive. So it does close at 9. I was right. All right. Well, we've got a full stomach. It's not too late. So let's go and check out that other marker on the map then that we've not seen yet. Oh, I was expecting a loading screen there. Okay. This is the strangest place ever. Can we interact with these people? Whoa, Jesus. Oh, press E for special show. Okay. Oh, whoa. he's got no eyes. Got no eyes whatsoever, and the weirdest tie that looks painted on. And this guy's got some sort of psychedelic see through hat on. Oh, do you ever get the feeling that everyone's staring at you? Okay, press E for special show. Whoa. Okay, so I guess we just we just sit in the chair. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that was not worth the amount of money that I paid. That is downright horrific. Look how the limbs are moving. That is going to give us nightmares for weeks. Let's get out of here. Oh my god. <laughs> Where's this? Some sort of odd bathroom with no reflection. Or is that a TV screen? I don't even know. Alright, let's just leave. Let's just leave and let's just close the doors. And never go back in there again. That was the scariest place. This would just be the worst place ever to live. So back for day two. We're going to take a snack on the way in. We'll just grab this donut right here so we can eat that on the way in. That's our hunger bars. <gasps> Jesus! Look, it's just full of creepy people. Officer, you need to clean up this town. Oh my god, have the hobos been in again? Does this happen every time? You know what, I'm going to open up anyway. And we'll just start the clean up. Okay, at least they've not been in the broom cupboard, that's good. But look at all this, there's cigarettes, there's pizza boxes. Okay, so we focus in, we go down here. One, two, three lots of fake reviews, that's good. Okay, and add blockers and pack a thing. I don't even know why you would need that. Very pleasant place, Yes! It is a very pleasant place. It's a good... Wait. What is that? Let's chat now. Cute single girl... Oh my god. What is this? We've just seen the hacker thing. The hacker adverts and we didn't take it. This is why you should always take... If someone says, you know, they've got antivirus for sale and you're the hundredth millionth customer or whatever, make sure you take it. <laughs> That's the advice to take from here. Um, okay, so I guess we're just going to wait for this to, to unhack itself. Wow. I haven't lost any crypto coin. You're in luck. I haven't even got any crypto coin. Jesus. That guy seems to be stuck. Or he's doing the pimp dance, whatever the pimp dance is. He looks worried about that. <laughs> but his actual face says differently. <laughs> Everyone's gathering around watching the pimp dance. Okay, he just came over to look, see what was going on. Officer? Okay, you were with someone different yesterday. Got a different girlfriend today. I've noticed that much. All right, I'm waiting to get the money up a little bit though. We want four thousand so we can get that expensive machine today. That's the that's the focus of today's thing. Okay, looks like dancing pimp's gone anyway, so that's good. Store's kind of clear now. Oh, look, that's what I like to see. I mean, okay, so it's two pimps that are actually playing on there, but that's okay. Doesn't matter where the money comes from. Oh, look at this. We've got a gentleman coming in. 
coming into our fine establishment. Okay, he looks like a bouncer. Oh, he's he's waiting for the dancing pimp. He's gone. He's gone. Oh, and Dr. House is back. That is definitely Dr. House if ever I've seen him. Yeah, dancing pimp's gone. Sorry, guys, but there is a really nice internet cafe over there. No? Oh, okay. Yes. Look at that. See, all you've got to do is tout for a bit of business. I mean, if you look just under his arms, the way that that actually moves is pretty bizarre. Okay, thanks for coming, guy. Maybe that's going to be our 4,000. Yes, we got over there. We just got $148 in, so I think we can get the machine we've been after, which is this one. We can. Wow. <laughs> we've got $40 left. Now, I think we've got a good selection of games there. This one seems to be the most popular, but we've got two of those. This one's the cheapest, but, you know, people do go on this. And then we've got this one, which is our new most expensive machine. Oh, wait, I can see him. There's the hobo. We're going to hunt hobos. Zombie hobo. I don't want to hit everybody, though. Ha! <laughs> okay, so the homeless hobo is down. Look, he's back up. It's like he just walks around all the time. And you, thief, as well. Damn it, I can't get him. I can't... Oh, damn it! I just hit extra people. I don't think we have. Oh, we have got... We've got... Oh, my God. Unfair attack, unfair attack, unfair attack. So we've got to pay... Oh, my God. That is a lot of money. 2,300 in unprovoked attacks. Damn. All right. That, that wasn't the... <laughs> that wasn't our best move. We've still got people coming in. And hopefully, now that we've got the new machine, money should be coming in much, much faster. But that's okay for now. So we'll pay off that fine. We'll get back to the hotel room. And then we can call it from there. Look, we can pay off the fine now already. Those two alone. These people spend like a hundred and like nearly two hundred dollars each time that they come in, which is great. So let's pay off our last unfair attack <laughs> bill, and then we're back all right again. Look, people love these games. We're getting like hope this is out of five. I don't know why it's got Latan on the end, but that's good. People are still enjoying themselves, so that's that's a good sign. Okay, we're just gonna keep this as an arcade for now. And I think we can like get computers and desks and stuff later on. Oh, look at these two guys. These are definitely gang related. How is that jacket moving like that? <laughs> look, the, the cheekbones on this skull are just moving from side to side. I think he's part of the dancing pimp gang. Maybe that's, maybe that's one of his things. Okay, so the store's open for one more hour. So this arcade is open for one more hour, then we'll get back. I mean, look, I mean, he's harassing all my, all my customers here. That's right, get out. Just like muscles his way in. Not many people are playing this new machine. And maybe it's because of where it is. Maybe placement's going to be a thing. Let's put it over here. Let's see if it works better. If it's like on this side. Okay, maybe more people are going to want to go on it in there in that corner. Because it's near the window again. So look, I mean, we're almost back up to $2,000. And the store closes about now. Now, I think it'll keep the people in who are already in. And I don't really want to kick them out. Oh, look, house is here. <laughs> Those are healing hands. You can see I was so good at surgery with with arms like this. That's definitely Hugh Laurie, right? I mean, we all we all agree with this. I think we can all agree that's Hugh Laurie, if ever I've seen him. All right, that's not bad. Look, we ended the day on two thousand dollars, so we kind of just lost eighteen thousand dollars in total. But we can make it back now. So we've kind of it's kind of like invested into the business. But guys, let me know what you think about this game. If it is something that you want to see more of on the channel, let me know. I would absolutely love to know. If you're not part of the Latano army already, hit that subscribe button and I will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for all the support, guys.